Today, I'm going to walk you through how to clone anyone's voice step by step using free voice cloning system on GitHub. It's wild. If you're pumped for this, smash that subscribe button. Also, follow me on Twitter for more mind blowing tech hacks. Links in the description. Let's dive in. First, we need to install some essential tools. Ensure you have Python and get installed on your machine. Very important. The next thing you need to do is to clone the AI voice cloning repository. This repo contains the model written in Python that'll let us replicate voice. In this case, I'm cloning Andrew Tate's, because who wouldn't want the top G barking orders in their living room? After cloning the repository, you'll spot requirements txt file. It's the shopping list of libraries this project needs. In Since this project is a bit old, the package versions in the requirements txt file are outdated. So guys, we need to remove the version numbers from each package in the requirements txt file, making it look something like this. Once you're done, install them by opening your terminal, navigating to the folder, and typing pip install our requirements txt. Uh, sit tight while it downloads. It takes minute, unlike Tate's Spaghetti, doing 0 to 60. Once it's done, check for errors. If it's smooth sailing, we're golden. Next up, grabbing voice samples. Stick with me, because soon you'll have Tate's voice flexing harder than his hustle. Now keep in mind that after installing the libraries and running the demo toolbox.py file, you may encounter some issues. As you can see on my terminal and visualizations.py on line 25, you'll need to change the dtype value, which is currently np.float to just float. This is all due to the upgraded package versions. The next issue you will encounter will be on the ui.py on line 384, which is the code mainly for updating the progress bar. The method set value expects an integer, but it's receiving a numpy float value. So to fix this, you just need to cast the value to an integer. Now in the audio.py file located inside the synthesizer directory on line 170, we need to ensure that all parameters in the mel function call are explicitly passed as keyword arguments. This will make it clear which value corresponds to each parameter, improving code readability and ensuring compatibility with the updated library requirements. Now I am going to attempt to execute the demo toolbox again. We have our toolbox running as you can see, so I'm going to attempt to upload the mp3 file containing the sample sound of Andrew Tate. The file was uploaded, but we are encountering a few errors again, no worries, we will get it fixed. So the error is happening in the audio.py file in the encoder directory on line 58. The call de Labrosa feature mel spectrogram function is passing parameters positionally, which is a compatible with Labrosa 0.11.0 version. So you just need to modify the call to use keyword arguments like this.
There you have it. You can now clone any voice using Python like Andrew Tate's or even your grandma's if she's got some hustle. If you ran into any issues along the way, don't sweat it. Just comment below and I'll help you out. Drop like, hit that subscribe button and stick around. I'll catch you in the next one with more wild tech tricks. the top. This is my place, and you have to make room for me. I am the top. This is my place, and you have to make room for me.